Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some rainbow glitter holographic resin coasters. So let's jump in and get started. I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, I will link one of my tutorials down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out if you want to see how I mix my resin. I do it the same way every time. So I usually cut the mixing out of my videos just to save time. So I went ahead and mixed up some red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple glitters. These glitters are from Let's Resin. They come in a set of like 15 different colors. I'll link them down below. They're super sparkly and holographic. And I just had these little cups here filled up with clear and I added about three or four dashes of the glitter. Mix that up and that was how I got my glitter colors. And this mold is from Molds and Shapes. I'll link it down below as well. It has the holographic effect inside the mold. So any piece you make inside this mold is going to turn out with a really cool holographic effect. I'm almost done dropping down my glitters. I'm just going to drop down this uh, purple here. And then we're going to go in and fill up the mold halfway with some light blue tinted resin. And to tint my resin, I used... Um, um, sky blue resin dye from Let's Resin. I just wanted to fill these molds up halfway on this first pour. We're going to go in tomorrow and fill up the molds the rest of the way. And I'll be sure to link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. So if you want to get any of these products to try, you'll get a little bit of extra savings. On these pieces, I'm using the Let's Resin Epoxy. Here we are the next day, just filling the molds up the rest of the way with some more of that light blue tinted resin. And I poured these in layers because I didn't want you to be able to feel the texture of the glitter on the back side of the coaster. You don't have to um, pour them in layers if you don't want to you could totally do it all in one pour if you wanted to I just wanted to do it in two layers um, just for I just didn't want you to be able to feel the glitter texture on the back side I'm just going to smooth out that clear hit it with my heat gun to pop bubbles let it dry overnight and here we are ready to demold them this is such an easy project and they turned out so so beautiful I just love the rainbow colors they're so fun and bright and cheerful um, these coasters, you cannot do a top coat on them at all. It will take away the holographic effect. So just keep that in mind. Um, any pieces like this or any pieces made in the holographic molds, you cannot do a top coat on them. So I um, just wanted to say that in case anybody didn't know that out there. But here's how they would look on a darker background. Really fun as well. So if you wanted to um, pour in layers like I did in, in this video, that second day you could go in and just add a black or I think even like a dark blue like a sapphire blue would be really pretty as well so you could um, have the holographic effect pop a little bit more I wanted these to be clear because I actually turned these into sun catchers and with the sun catchers you really want them to be clear so they will show that gorgeous rainbow holographic effect here's a few pictures of how the finished sun catchers turned out let me know what you think i hope you give this a try let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back and I do still have one of these sun catchers left in my Etsy shop. If you want to go check it out, I'll link my shop down below as well. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye, guys.